Welcome to Voices of Experience, brought to you by the State Retiree Council um, of the AFL-CIO. I'm Bill Moore. I'm uh, your host uh, for this program, and our guest today is Bobby Casper, who is the new uh, president of the St. Paul Regional Labor Federation. Bobby, uh, welcome to the program. Welcome to Voices of Experience. And uh, why don't we start by you just uh, introducing yourself. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I want to thank you all for inviting me, the Retiree it's, Council. And it's a pleasure. It's, it's very important to me that, that, uh, that I speak to the Retirees Council because I'm very proud of that organization. Uh, my father's a, a union retiree himself out of the Labor's Union. Okay. Um, well, we'll have to get you an invitation to speak. Uh, our audience is broader than just retirees, but we'll have to uh, get you an invitation to speak well, to the council Well, yeah. thank you very much. Thank you. My my background is originally I come out of the uh, state of New York, and uh, the first union I ever was affiliated with was the local 1199 SEIU. Okay. Uh, Hospital I'm, workers, yes. right? Yes. Okay. And a real strong union, uh, a lot of... Uh, staff in there, cooks, dishwashers, and people that delivered food to the floors. And I learned a lot about unions with them. They were very strong. They were hard workers, took a lot of pride in what they did. But uh, the union conditions were very good with 1199. They were real proud of that. Um, okay. And then uh, while I was in college, and I worked as a bartender for a while with uh, the hotel workers, HERE and Unite. Um, for a number of years at the Huntington Townhouse, bartender, mm -hmm. for a number of years. And I was in a second union, and it was a good experience. I was treated well and paid well. Um, the third union that I worked in and paid my way through college, and I stayed in it, was Local 66 in Long Island, the Labor's Union, Lyuna. Okay. And um, I worked in there. I joined that union in 1983. And... Uh, Worked out there till 1992. I came out here and transferred into Local 132 of Labors in St. Paul. So you've had a pretty broad uh, spectrum of union experience. I mean, you've been in the uh, service industry with the, the yes. hospital workers and the hospitality industry, yes. and construction. Um, that's a pretty impressive background. Well, you know, I was paid well in all three jobs, and you know, and I was treated very good because of the union conditions. Uh, the non-at-will environment. I mean, if you worked hard uh, with any of these unions, you were taken care of, uh, and, and very good health plans. So you came here as a laborer? Uh, yes. Rank-and-file member yes. at the, at the yes. time? Yep. Okay, but not. But shortly thereafter, you uh, I, were elected or appointed well, I, to I union was, uh, positions? I was a bit, I was a, a, um, a union steward in New York and a foreman on a number of jobs. Okay and took some training in Local 66 and was involved very politically. And when I came out here, I, I volunteered a lot on political elections and uh, phone banks, door knocks. It's where I met you. Yeah. I and <laughs> felt it was important. Uh, when I was out of work, I felt it was important for, uh, as a union member, to, to volunteer for the union on their political issues. And uh, I was appointed union steward and a number of jobs here and worked my way in and uh, applied to be a part-time business agent and was hired in 1994 and a half. And I've been in office ever since. I uh, had a couple of breaks in time, but I was a business agent. I worked for John McGinn, okay. who was a business manager in those days. And then I worked for the Labor's District Council in 1996, 1997, I think, uh, as an organizer. So that took you outside of St. Paul, around well, the state? Yeah. The region. Don't get me wrong. Uh, on my business card, I always had business agent, organizer. I feel that any of us in this union movement are organizers. We're all looking to promote union conditions and union activism. Um, and that's why I put that on there. I have bottom up or top down organizing. I believe in it hold heartily because it's very important for us upon our survival to get involved with union activism and organizing and political activism. Um, I, I, as an organizer, I worked up at the Labor District Council and organized a number of groups and had some success. Traveled throughout the state. I was in South Dakota for a number of months and organized an Indian Health Hospital. I organized a group up in Mora. Yeah. Um, 
and uh, came back to the local 132 as a business agent in 1998, I think it was. Okay. And you've been active in St. Paul ever since then? As an agent, yeah. yes. Yeah. I work for Gary Reed, business manager. Right. And then you also held the positions with the building trades? Right? Yes, and yes. Uh, well, I was fortunate for the business manager I had. He was very um, politically active, Gary Reed. Mm -hmm. Believed in it, believed us to get involved with the affiliations, the building trades, and the, at that time the St. Paul Trades and Labor Assembly. Sure. And he gave me the go ahead to do that, and I'm real proud to have worked for him. And Gary does a very good job. So you were delegate to, to yes. both the assembly and to the, uh, to the building trades yeah. council. Yeah. Right. And I ran for office in that. I was treasurer, became treasurer of the building trades first. Okay. And won that election, and then ran for election for treasurer of the St. Paul Trades and Labor. That's a rarity for both. And I was proud and, and, and learned a lot about unions, a lot about what they're all about and their issues. Okay. Uh, it was kind of neat. Right. Tell, tell us a little bit about the, I mean, some people are familiar, but uh, not necessarily. What, what exactly is the, the St. Paul uh, Labor Federation? Well, it, it, it used to be called the St. Paul Trades and Labor Assembly. Right. And uh, we merged with a number of groups and we took over the Dakota County okay. Assembly All right. and uh, St. Croix Valley All Assembly right. was Washington County and Chisago County. So that's and where the federation that's comes That's the federation. So it's a federation of, of former yes. independent labor councils. Yes, right and uh, we're very proud. They are very active groups and uh, we're going to try to step it up as much as possible. Uh, my staff does a very good job and we're going to work on uh, some political activism in those areas. Okay. It's been long overdue. Not and, and why did you want to be president? Why did I want to be president? Well, I think we we have some problems right now. And I, the union's given me a very good life and a very good lifestyle. Um, and I wanted to give something back. At 51 years old, I felt that, you know, my experience, strength and hope that I can make some changes and some positive changes with some of the youth. I do believe we need to promote some of the youth in these unions. Um, I look around the rooms and there's not a lot of youth in there. And I'm very proud to be a union member. My father was a union iron worker slash laborer. My mother was an AFSCME worker. My uncles were laborers, bricklayers. Uh, my grandfather was a union carpenter. My other grandfather was a union sanitation worker. So it's that whole mindset that it's you in believe in. It's in my blood and I believe in it. I think we should step up on uh, trying to get more affiliations, more unions involved, and uh, we don't need to be up against the wall. We bring a, a very good lifestyle. Minnesota is a quality of life state, mm -hmm. like New York is, mm -hmm. but I've seen it deteriorating, and we need to step it up. And the unions brought that quality of life. I take some, would take, I give the unions a lot of credit on that aspect: health insurance, pensions, a way of life. 